Look what we found behind the kitchen door at local restaurants. Roaches crawling near the food you eat. Rodents under the kitchen stove. We discovered them at fancy places, at well-known chains, and at neighborhood joints, sometimes even swimming in your sauce. My first gut reaction was to throw up. Rodent infestations are on the rise, like at this subway in Azusa, where four months ago inspectors found a mouse and dozens of mouse droppings in the kitchen. At this church's fried chicken on South Broadway last year, a dead rodent was spotted with its head missing. And at this El Pollo Loco last year, inspectors found a rodent infestation so bad, the front register was chewed up and covered in droppings. Inspectors temporarily shut down all three places until they cleared out the critters that were crawling near food. They're pooping all over everything, they're peeing all over everything, and then they're eating. Sylvia Kenmuir is a state licensed pest control advisor who works with school districts and restaurants. It's possible that they're spreading diseases. When the I team crunched the numbers, we found that restaurant closures due to vermin infestations have been rising year by year in LA County. This roach was found in February at the upscale Napa Valley Grill in Westwood. More roaches were found in four different areas at this McDonald's in Panorama City. And I said, that's not a dead roach, that's a live one. That's what Angel Manzanero and his friends say they saw in their sweet and sour sauce. I'm surprised they're still open. At the Golden Palace in North Hollywood. That was four years ago. But since then, year after year, inspectors continue to find roaches there, like these under the deep fryer. Can roaches and rats make people sick if they're in restaurants? Roaches and rodents can spread disease, and it's going to be through the feces, the urine, and the saliva, and it's going to be all over the food. Ken Muir blames the skyrocketing vermin population on the disruption of rodent habitats caused by LA's construction boom. She says homeless encampments are also breeding grounds for rodents. This door must be kept closed, but it's open. And a restaurant's carelessness, like leaving the back door open, can make matters worse. Oh, look at this. A big roach. That's what I found outside Kushiyu in Tarzana, where inspectors found live roaches and dead ones just last year. Now we notice the back door wide open for over an hour, a health code violation. It's not supposed to be open. We asked to speak with the owner. If your door is open and there's cockroaches, couldn't cockroaches get inside here? That's possible, yes. He said on his last inspection, they found no roaches. There's no roaches in, in the restaurant, in, in the back of my kitchen, nothing. The LA County Health Department says when an active vermin infestation is found, a restaurant gets closed down. Oh, really? Last May at Johnny's Pizzeria in Venice, inspectors found dead roaches but still gave it an A. Just six days later, they returned and found live roaches. Only then did they close it down for two days to fumigate. And then there's Lucky's on South Main, where inspectors found these big fat rats in 2017 and also found roaches. Last fall, inspectors found a dead roach there again but still gave Lucky's an A. As for these other restaurants in our story, they too have A's, but their most recent inspections show no vermin. I wish I believed that it meant that that restaurant was clean. You're still eating at your own risk. How could the health department give an A to a place with roaches? We asked them for an on-camera interview, but they said they're unable to accommodate our request. And get this, there are 33 managers who oversee restaurant inspections who combined make more than $5 million a year that you pay for. We won't give up until someone agrees to talk. We will find them.